Hey everyone, welcome back. We have a quick simple Nova build to look at today. This is an iteration of the original antimatter DPS concept you may have seen before. Once upon a time, we learned that shooting antimatter drop through mutilus quanta orbs massively buffed its damage. This is because AMD is considered a weapon and can thus be affected by weapon buffing sources. Quanta can give it up to plus 500% electric, allow it to crit, and also grant it crit damage. It came out with a base damage penalty, but still resulted in an overall big damage boost. AMD damage can be multiplied even further, with Vigorous Swap and Arcane Arachne as well, easily tripling or quadrupling the total output. Today, this is no longer needed for normal play because of the armor strip changes with Veil Breaker. Yes, this is a simple Terrify Nova build, albeit with some energy balancing tweaks. Our Nova runs with approximately 224 strength when fully stacked, with Molt Augmented and Matterized Sling Strength buff, granting Antimatter Drop a 17.92 times damage multiplier. Antimatter Drop pre-update to 30.9 was not affected by strength on the damage multiplier stat. Post 30.9, an undocumented change has resulted in it scaling with strength even if the UI does not show it. This means low strength builds now make AMD weak, whereas actually building for strength makes AMD excessively strong, on top of high strength allowing a Slova build. Mutilus Quanta was previously needed to supercharge electric damage and crits to surpass steel path armor scaling. However, with the addition of Terrify needing only 167 strength to full strip post Veilbreaker, we no longer have a need to skyrocket antimatter's damage. The damage absorption cap of AMD is 25,000, and originally had an 8 times damage multiplier that maxed out for 200k damage in an AoE. Our 224 strength build pushes this to 448k damage AoE. Basically, a 15 meter AoE explosion with zero falloff. It absolutely destroys unarmored enemies on Steel Path and is even stronger than most AoE weapon setups by raw damage. Just keep in mind the radius is fixed though at 15 meters. However, needed to cast the ability every time to DPS, and new areas needed a new Terrify cast, so casting speed is extremely important to this setup. The Archon Shard system fixed this as well. Even Acolytes, who have their own damage attenuation mechanic, get destroyed by the setup. This is because while they fully attenuate non-crits, if you shoot the AMD through Quanta, it both buffs its damage but also adds on crit chance and crit damage onto an ability that normally has 0% crit chance and 1 times crit damage. Crits on Acolytes are only partially attenuated, meaning your damage will skyrocket on them going from 14.6k on this build to well over 100k and one-shotting them instantly. Of course, this is a Gamba, since Mutilus Quanta only grants it 25% crit chance. You could buff this further for better odds with Arcane Avenger and a combat discipline setup, but this makes it harder to shield gate, and thus easier to die. Up to you, let's look at that Nova build. I've chosen Brief Respite because this Nova build is all about ability spam. You strip with abilities, you DPS with abilities, you're always casting abilities. Therefore, Brief Respite allows us to shield gate consistently with the Decay Dragon Key so that we can max out our shields in a single Terrify casts. With two Augur mods on, I have 230% energy to shield conversion, making Terrify restore 86 shields. This is important to get the better 1.3 second shield gate instead of the 0.33 second of partial gate. Because we DPS by aiming at the floor like a Brahma and Zar mains, you are vulnerable while setting up the DPS, and this is why I slotted Antimatter Absorb. Her two augment that works like a bullet attractor to pull all incoming enemy fire within 8.75 meter radius of the AMD on this build. It prevents enemy fire from hitting you outside of AoE while casting your AMD into the floor. Because it takes a moment to explode and kill even after it affixes to a surface, this gives you more survivability while waiting for enemies to die. For a super cast heavy build that always casts a Terrify into AMD, you're spending 62.5 energy per DPS rotation. Primed Flow is extremely important because when your Panzer dies for 30 seconds, Equilibrium does not work at full HP since the Sinset will be disabled and prevent you from picking up health orbs while at full HP. You need a big enough energy tank to tide you over waiting for your Panzer to revive itself, which is where Primed Flow fits to stockpile the Energized Surplus. On less cast heavy builds, this isn't needed, but it is required on today's Nova build. Prime Shirt Footed is self-explanatory and Fleeting Expertise is balanced at rank 4 for shield gaining strats. 
A rank 5 would make Terrify fail to restore all shields into single cast by making the efficiency too high. We got 175 range, so that Terrify hits out to 26.25 meters. Because our DPS rotation consists of casting Terrify and AMD immediately after to DPS, I've chosen to skip using a mod slot on creeping Terrifies to slow enemies down. You still have Molecular Prime if you want, however, I normally save that only to slow Acolytes and prep for their kill. We easily capped the 145 strength requirement for 75% slow as needed. I've also slotted two casting speed Archon shards as mentioned earlier for plus 62.5 casting speed. I combined this with Matterize Power Transfer for a further plus 50% casting speed putting us at 100% or higher bonus. This makes the build much more comfortable to cycle Terrify and AMD constantly. Finally, Rolling Guard helps to remove X my status effects such as Shock X my or Arson X my after you kill them. AMD should still easily 1 to 2 shot them through their Overguard. For Acolytes today, you have two options. Either bring a melee to kill them quickly, such as Exodia Contagion Zaws like this, or bring Vasiluk to strip their armor off since Terrifying doesn't work on them. Molecular Prime to slow as needed, and for once, deploy your Quanta Bubble and shoot your AMD into it. It only needs to pass through and doesn't need to explode while inside of it. It buffs your damage to Acolytes noticeably, and if you're lucky enough to crit, instantly one-shots them for over 100k damage. The Bursting Mass Augment on Quanta will also damage them when it explodes after 8 seconds. This is our Quanta build. I have nearly exactly plus 200% multi-shot in this build with our Riven, because Quanta orbs stack up to 3 times for the strongest buffs. Otherwise, you can just manually shoot out 3 orbs quickly on top of each other. The alt fire rate is pretty fast. Bursting Mass explodes the orb after 8 seconds, or if you manually detonate it by secondary firing again. Now, if you equip this mod and you do not have plus 200% multi-shot, you will be unable to stack more orbs due to detonate them when trying to alt fire again. So either run this mod or don't, up to you. None of the other mods here really matter, and you do not need to shoot AMD through Quanta, except if you're trying to kill Acolytes with it. Our pistol today is Pandero Prime. Honestly, it doesn't matter what you use, anything works so long as it does enough damage to fully charge the 25k damage absorption cap on AMD. I just wanted something that applies DPS to it quickly and reloads quickly. Now, you cannot crit on the AMD because it is considered an object and the crit mods are only here for if you actually shoot an enemy. Otherwise, I just modded on base damage, multi-shot, and radiation damage with some fire rate. Merciless does not stack off kills created by AMD and only serves to cut down reload speed with primed quick draw into 0.5 seconds. Panzer build is stock as always, with viral quills to spread pedicis and priming to proc synth deconstruct for extra health orbs. Fiber, so we can pick them up at full HP for equilibrium. Martyr to save you, and Devolution to save your cat. Radar, and Vacuum. That's it, cheers! If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed, I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible. Like I've done with the Lewis Prey update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.